Please welcome back to the stage, SMILE's Executive Director, Aaron Whalen, to present this year's Community Advocate Award. How's lunch? <laughs> All right, this year it is with immense pride and admiration that I present SMILE's Community Advocate Award to someone who truly embodies the essence of this honor, Heidi Ellis. Heidi is the founder and CEO of HME Consulting and Advocacy, a distinguished DC-based firm that leverages profound expertise in policy, strategy, and stakeholder engagement to build coalitions and advance initiatives addressing intersectionality in the LGBTQ community and racial equity. Her impact works, work includes leading the DC LGBTQ budget coalition, of which SMILE was a founding member. This coalition is powerful alliance of over 20 queer serving organizations united in advocating for dedicated funding, programs, and policies within our city. Through Heidi's visionary leadership, the coalition hosted its inaug inaugural LGBTQ housing summit last year and successfully secured over $14 million in funding for essential LGBTQ services. On a personal note, when I was new to DC a few years ago, Heidi was one of the very first people who extended a warm welcome. She made me feel at home in a new city and demonstrated the true spirit of community. Heidi's commitment is unwavering. She shows up despite obstacles, rolls up her sleeves, and gets the work done. Heidi consistently brings unparalleled passion, expertise, and determination to her advocacy. It is an absolute honor to witness her dedication and drive firsthand. Please join me in celebrating this formidable community advocate and my dear friend, Heidi Ellis. Um, I'm a little emotional after that, so forgive me if my voice is quivering. Um, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm incredibly honored to receive the Community Advocate Award today. Uh, and I want to begin by expressing my heartfelt thanks to SMILE for this recognition. This award isn't just a reflection of me, but of the community and collective efforts that have surrounded and supported me in this fight for a more just and equitable world. First and foremost, I have to acknowledge my village. Uh, to my family, thank you for rooting me in love and purpose. To my incredible partners in the Budget Coalition, June, Kimberly, Aaron, Tyrone, Chibundu, Benjamin, George, Ryan, Japer, and so many others. This award belongs as much to you as it does to me. It is through our collective efforts that we have made such meaningful strides. Let me take a moment to share a bit about why this work is so personal for me. I'm a black, Afro-Latina, lesbian. <laughs> a cis woman, so I just need to recognize that as well, <laughs> who has, has been raised in predominantly affluent white areas. Navigating these spaces wasn't always easy. However, thanks to my family and many inspiring figures in my community, I learned early that my identities were not in conflict, but they are intersecting rich, complex, and beautiful pieces that make me whole. <laughs> Advocacy is essential, especially now. We're living in times where LGBTQ plus rights and racial equity initiatives are under direct attack. Our voices, our stories, our presence, are more important than ever, even when the fight feels exhausting. That's why the work of the DC LGBTQ plus budget coalition is so critical. We've been able to secure vital resources for our community, ensuring that LGBTQ individuals in DC have access to the support they need. We've seen how our collective action can make a real difference, 
from securing dedicated housing vouchers to establishing transgender, gender diverse workforce programs. Give it up for that. These wins show what's possible when we come together. And thanks to the support of governmental partners and council members, we were able to secure instrumental seed funding to open the doors of the soon to be open DC LGBTQ plus community center. Continued support for the center will ensure our community has a safe space with direct access to key resources. But our work does not stop there. Advocacy alone is not enough. We must engage fully in the democratic process. That means organizing, advocating, voting, and funding the causes that matter. And as I close, I want to take a moment to thank my girlfriend, Shannon Alston. <laughs> Your unwavering support and love anchors me and sustains me, and I'm forever grateful to have you in my life and in, by my side in this work. To everyone here, this is my call to action. To everyone here, remember, tomorrow is not promised, but we have now. So let's fight to build the world we deserve. Let's shake things up. Let's do it with joy, purpose, and in community. Thank you once again for this honor.